it's real American culture that's causing the problem. Yeah, let me get Lauren right. here, another woman on the panel, and what's going on to my figure? I got good configure camo studio, and what's going on international? I see you, uh, Lauren. Yes, help us this out up here. Now, and and let me uh, because I know you're one of the comments that I popped up. Mm -hmm. We didn't have an echo. Um, where it was like, you know, they they're not when black women do something, they're not, it's uncommon for a black woman to do something nice. And you were one was like, it's uncommon. What? Yeah. And then, you know, of course the response back is, you know, we're not listening, which I understand they want us to listen. But I think even as a black woman, it's like, well, I do nice things for men. Yeah. So to hear is uncommon. Again, we don't date women, so we have to listen to what they're saying. But then as a black woman that, prides herself in doing things that's nice for people in general. It's like, damn, where, well, where are these women? Yeah. You know what I'm like, I guess we're, it makes us confused because we think that we're doing well and we're obviously not. Right. And that's why I wanted to kind of cam up because it's not that we're not listening or we don't want to listen. Clearly we're here. And the, you know, the title of her video was asking the question and obviously the best you know, people to answer that question would be men, right? So mm -hmm. I'm here to listen, but it it doesn't negate our experience, our experiences, and then like who we are and what we bring to the table, right? I mean, we hear all the stuff about how Black women are, and it doesn't necessarily help that social media, reality TV paints us in this picture, right? And so you have women like Courtney, women like me, and other women in the chat who said this is not uncommon, you know, say like there are women out here and my question that I kind of followed up with and I don't think anyone saw it or maybe it wasn't highlighted was where where are y'all looking? You know what I mean? And what are you going for? I know right now what's hot is, you know, the, the light skinned chicks with the big booties and, you know, like if you don't fit the, the bill of what's popping right now, you're going to get overlooked no matter how you treat men, right? So... Yeah, I just wanted to kind of come up and like come on and say like it's not that we're listening and I'm not saying that you guys are wrong. I think all of your points are valid, obviously, because you've experienced it. You've dated multiple women. Well, you dated women. I don't know if it's multiple at the same time, but you dated women <laughs> and, and, you know, women of different cultures at that. So. So, yeah. Um, and I, I mean, I question I have three brothers and out of my three brothers, two of them tend to lean toward women that are not black the latina women so yeah i am listening because you know you have a black sister you have a black mother and yet i don't see no black women coming coming up and through the, the crib mm -hmm. so what is it is it a is it a and and i'm gonna speak on this last point and i'm gonna let y'all talk but this obsession with women of other cultures and black men i just find very fascinating I heard her say, like, it's what black men can provide them, an opportunity or whatever that video said. But from my eyes, I feel like those women are just obsessed with black men, right? This persona that, even on the shows, right, they're, they're portrayed as a strong, like, you know, can do all these things. But is that really what they're looking for? It's, I think it's just the, 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 the narrative of saying I slept with a black man. They're not really marrying y'all. Um, Lauren, good to hear your voice again. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks, Lauren. I would say this. There's some of the brothers from my country when they came here, they were, look, they were dating girls like you, Lauren, who were well-educated, well brought up, who have a strong hand on their shoulder, but were ultra feminine. And I've seen that happen among my own people from my country when they come out here. What I talked to a lot of the guys were, who were doing that, they what's wrong with the Nigerian girl compared to American women? They say some of these American women coming from good family, they're the one that's about a date. They're coming from a good family structure. They have a good home. They wouldn't date the women from the hood whatsoever. But it based on the migration of my people, either in New York or they went to Atlanta or they went to California or get more porch and go to different states. You will see that among my people. Other than that, it's never been a problem. I see some of them bring their wife over to the country to show both to show them off what they got and i'm i'm guessing it's all about the narrative where are they finding the good woman at because i'm in new york city 
You know, New York City ain't that easy. But I better say, if you go to the Bronx, I've been to the Bronx. Trust me. You don't want to do the one from the Bronx. No, no offense. <laughs> I ain't trying to crap on them, but it is it is what it is. In Brooklyn, it's the 50 50 chance you find a good one. I just got blessed to find mine in Brooklyn. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. I can't make this one up. That- Thank you, Black David. What you got for us, International? And thank you for hanging out. And RJ, I'm going to get you as well, too. But I, can can you answer Lauren's question as well? Where are y'all finding these? I mean, uh, yeah, black I, women that ain't doing shit. How you doing, Courtney? And I want to do a disclaimer, too, because, um, you know, I coach and do content, too. So I'm giving my opinion, but I'm also giving from the intel that I get. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm on the other side of the problems, too. Um, so, so the the first thing about the the black women thing. Now, I think the problem is, for one, kind of geared toward the man, for a little bit of accountability, because for one, men feel like just because they're a dude, you can be a dude, you can have your money right, but you still have to be desirable and 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 like have your woman. You have to have masculine qualities. So if you have masculine qualities, women will submit to you whether they white, black, Spanish, because they they want to be submissive and they want to be, you know, shown the way. And a lot of, a lot of times, guys ask for submission just because they're a dude. You know, if I'm asking somebody, I say, "What do you want to do in life?" They don't know. Well, then that'll tell me what. Well, you're having problems with women because that's the main thing. A woman wants something to. She, if she's investing in you, she wants to know where you're going, or at least where you think you're going. So that's the first thing. As far as the race, um, as far as the race, you, you know, black women, they can just be a little entitled, you know what I'm saying, more or less. And, and, it's, and it's from the way that they're raised, like a lot of black women, they're raised to like, you know, you got to get this kind of man or whatever. And then the Spanish and all the, the other chicks, uh, it's more kind of like you can't because if you cater to your man, your man will do well for you. And that's like a cheat code because women think that they women think that men value what they value right so you i want up six figures of the that's that's what you like at the end of the day man dudes just want peace and pleasure right and 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 this is it's as simple as that like you know a lot of times where you may see dudes dating outside a race it may not be because she's necessarily not you know a different race and he just thinks she's super valuable but she just understands that when you make your man happy he'll make you happy and, and submissive is also more than like cook food and stuff like that too because because that tends to seem like oh okay i want to submit i want to cook and clean like other women gonna like rub your feet and do all the extra stuff because i travel too you know what i mean so i just came back from africa and the vibe that i got from the women you get it faster you know what i mean mm-hmm. so you, you can date women and then after they get to learn you but those women are just they, they're taught to like okay let me you know, let me make sure he's okay. Let me be interested in his goals and stuff. So they understand that to make it about the man, then the man will get comfortable because all love is is trust. Once you start trusting someone, that's then that, that's when the love comes, you know. And so other race women seem like they know how to do that better. But then, you know, black women, they can be submissive too. They just need to have a, I wouldn't say dominant man, but just a man who's assertive and knows what he wants. To or trust is it that, Yeah. Is, is it that... You know, you all have little tolerant, low tolerance for black women. Cause I mean, you know, you say like they do it easy, like because black women do it as well. Um, probably maybe not at the same rate, perhaps, if that's what you're saying. But I mean, I definitely hardly, hardly at all. It, I, I, I wouldn't say it's it's the tolerance, it's about okay, let me say this. You when you dating in the dating scene, you have to know exactly what you want. See, some people people they just want to be in a relationship to be happy. That's what they think. I'm, I got this, this, and that. So if I find the person, then it's gonna be, you know, the the person, the woman that I'm looking for now. Not well. Let me. T- I'm not looking for a woman, but the woman that I'll be open to committing to, start a family. I'm older. I'm forty. I don't have any kids. Just two dogs. Mm-hmm. It's different than ten years ago. You know what I mean? So sometimes you got to match people where they at. You know, you, yeah. you know, a woman may try to force you into submission and give you an ultimatum, and then when you don't do a good job, she mad. Well, the man didn't want it no ways, right? You got to make him want that. That's what I say. I got you. Uh, RJ, you've been um, there patiently. What do you have to say to the comments? And also, can you answer 
I guess Lauren's question that she had. Lauren, can you repeat your question, please? Yeah, where y'all, where are y'all finding these black women that aren't cooking and and being kind and and peace peaceful in the home? Like, where are these? Where are y'all finding them at? Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. Oh, great! Um, first time caller, Courtney. I love your show. Um, oh, thank definitely you. Definitely submit. Um, I'll tell you this, just to let you know, this is the actually the first YouTube channel I've ever called. <laughs> oh, look and at me that's... popping your chair. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's because um, last week I watched the show you guys did last week and it was actually, you guys covered a lot of content that was really mm -hmm. helpful, especially when it's, you're talking about the black community overall. So I decided, you know what, as much as I, pro I like to observe, I would prefer to also contribute where I can. So um, the first thing I think you guys mentioned was, I guess, if you focus more on the, the, the topic of the, the, the call here, um, are Latino, Latinas, or Black people competing against Latinas? I think living in the U.S. is more than just that, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, black women are competing against a lot of different cultures, not, not just white. It's Latinas, it's Asians, it's a lot of different ones because I think from a black perspective, um, we've gotten too comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that's not just black women, black men has gotten comfortable as well. And because we've gotten so comfortable, our um, values have just gotten distorted overall. And as part of that, that has, uh, I guess, created more problem because of that distortion. Um, for example, black men are—we're always talking about, especially in this YouTube space, how hard we work, um, how much we value our family, how much we want to work hard for the kids. But no matter how how many times you say it, if the woman's not listening to what you're saying, it's, it doesn't—it's not worth anything. So from that standpoint, you can clearly see that you know the black woman here, and we're not talking about all black women, obviously, right? But the black women here are not seeing what you're communi communicating to them as anything worth uh, or anything of value. Whereas you can clearly see somebody else from another culture may actually pick it up and say, you know what, if he said he's doing one, two, three, four, five, and six, those things, I'll take them as true contribution to what I value. And if he said he's doing those things, I'll pick him up while, you know, the black woman is not picking, picking, uh, pick, picking the guy up, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing from a woman's perspective too, right? Whether people will believe it or not, um, obviously I'm, I'm not American, so it's, it's a little different, but the truth of the matter is being inside and outside, because I grew up in the US, I, mm -hmm. I've been here since I was 10 years old. I don't think that black American really truly realize how valuable their culture really is. Other mm -hmm. cultures outside of you guys, see how valuable it is but maybe it's because you're inside of it you just don't see how valuable it is there's a reason why a lot of other cultures are mimicking and picking up certain things right and it's because they see something in it and 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 this is where i say maybe it's because the culture has gotten too comfortable it's 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 almost like the it's almost like um when you think about the us how we're always complaining about, you know, people from the from the south border coming over to take jobs and stuff like that, right? Well, you've gotten comfortable with the jobs there and you think that, you know, those lower jobs are not worth it anymore. But somebody else from the outside will see it as being valuable and they'll pick it up. It's the same thing with your culture. If you start to think that parts or a seg significant segments of your culture is not valuable or a person in your culture is not valuable, somebody else from the outside will come and take it. And, and to be honest, like I said, I'm not, I wasn't born here, but now I've lived here for such a long time and now I got two kids here, so I'm invested. <laughs> so, so I'm invested. Where are you so, from? Uh, born in Haiti. Born in Haiti. Born in Haiti, grew up in the Northeast. And um, yeah. go ahead. Well, I want to ask about competing and I'm glad that you're here not you know from Haiti but kind of seeing our culture and competition on what that looks like I believe that a lot of black women 
are not competing and don't feel like we have to because we do feel like who we are as far as what we look like is getting mimicked. We do feel like, and a lot of Black women feel like we are beautiful as Black women and other women want to look like us. They want to act like us. And so we see ourselves as what women want to be. And you'll hear a lot of black women say that, oh, they want to be black. She want to look like me. She want to have the butt, what I already naturally have. You want us, you know, you want to look like that. So that's why I think we don't compete because we feel like we are what, especially black men want or should have. And I think we're kind of losing in transition where it's like, yeah, we feel this way about ourselves, but it's just not, <laughs> it ain't translating to the black it's, man. Exactly. Right. Um, the way I looked at it is like from birth, you're in competition. From the moment you take your mm. first breath, you're in competition. The moment that you have something that you want and you don't have it, you should be in competition because mm -hmm. you're not satisfied, right? You're, you have something that's specific that you want. And the only way to get that is to get in there, work and get to it and get it, right? So, and once again, I like to say this, it's not just, just from a woman's standpoint, it's from a man's standpoint too, right? Because if you think about it, as men, especially black men, we talk about how um, we're doing a lot, but overall um, other races looks down on us, right? So we got work to do. So yeah. we should be in competition too, in regards to how do you change that? And what are we actually I, gonna do to do that? Go. I think someone wanna say something. Yeah, I have, to, I have to push back a bit because you have black men from Canada, you have yeah. a black man that repatriated to Canada, you have black men in the DMV. You have black men in China. I, I hear feedback. I um, <clears throat> um, it telling you it's not about beauty. It's an attitude issue. It's the treatment. And then, so first, I'll answer Lawrence, Lauren's question. Then I'll I'll, mm -hmm. I'll land it with I'll, I'll land my plane with Courtney's question. Mm -hmm. So when you're telling mm -hmm. us, when you're asking us, where do we find these women? It's commonplace. Right, I'm telling you about black my my experience with black women in Asia. He's telling you about his black uh, black women experience in Canada, in the DMV, et cetera, et cetera. It is commonplace. You have men who never met each other before today, from a, literally around the world, literally around the world, and we're telling you it's commonplace, right? So at the end of the day, either you refuse to accept the data, or listen to it and make some changes. And then when we talk about beauty, not one black man up here said we have a problem with the way black women look. It's it's about the it's about the treatment, right? Mm -hmm. And when we're comparing women abroad and and women and our women in America, women abroad have the pedigree to be wives. Black women will fix you a plate. They will be nice to you sometimes. But it's not consistent. It's mm -hmm. not consistent everyday behavior and treatment. And when we talk about re long-term relationships, when we're talking about marriage, not, not talking about sleeping with, because my woman, she's from the Middle East, UAE. When we talk about long-term relationships, she's consistent. The nice things she does are consistent. Her following my leadership is consistent. And that's where the disconnect is. We're tell we're saying two things. It's not your beauty because we like we like your beauty. And obviously women are, are copying your beauty, but that's not the situation. The situation is your attitude towards us, your lack of value of how you how uh your lack of value to how we treat you, because we treat you this way, we ain't ish. We treat the white woman or the Latino woman the same way. Oh, black men are so doting and loving. Mm. And, and second, and the last point is consistency. It, I mean, that that's really the, that's it, it's consistency. And if you make those changes, then we, we don't have issues anymore. And I'll land my plane with that. So it's not about beauty. It's the attitude and consistently treating us with respect and value. Thank, thank you for that. Um... We ain't signing. Um, I 
hear you. And by me asking the question, where y'all looking or finding them, doesn't mean that I, again, I am uh, rejecting the things that y'all are saying. I agree. There are Black women that have attitude issues. Like, Mm -hmm. that is a fact. You see it all the time, right? So I agree that there's change that needs to happen, which is why you have a Courtney, you have a TJ, you, you know, you have people that are trying to kind of talk about what we need to do in order to kind of get the marriage um, that that we desire. Um, so yes, I'm listening. I'm sure other women in the chat are listening as well. Um, but yeah, and you, you say commonplaces, that's where y'all yeah, it's are. commonplace. Yeah, I, I hear you. I'm listening. And mm-hmm. and again, people, the reason why I'm asking the question is because that seems to be, I saw somebody else in the chat say, yeah, I have sisters. They're asking that same question. It is a common question. So I'm posing it for the people that are, again, watching this and actually wanting to know. So thank you for answering that and for anybody else who did on the panel. Yeah. Okay. And- uh, thank you. And uh, Courtney, thank you for having me. But I'm oh, sorry, thank- I have to run. Go ahead. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And talking to you again okay. as well. Yes, yes. And uh, thank you, everyone. And see, we I told you 90% we agree on right, i think you should, also be, we, you should also be sysbm but take care i'm not <laughs> <laughs> not having it <laughs> it's funny uh black david go ahead um, I, yeah, I saw a I question that coffee brown was asking are black men consistent the fact that you're affected on play let me know you guys are not um i want to respond to that because when they ask that kind of question, hey, black men are consistent, what are you referring to consistent? You mean going to work 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week, killing themselves in a certain job, making sure they pay the bill, they pay the rent, they make sure that not you need to pay for, to come home to that attitude, some had to travel long distance for a job. I spoke to guys who say who live in New York or Detroit, you gotta get a job in Texas and literally put their body through so much to the point whereby when they come home, it's not like they're treating like they're respected at home. They treat like they didn't do nothing at all. Like, what do you mean by consistent? You have black men who are trying to get that level of education and get that high paying white collar job or working their butt off in the factory 15 hours a shift. Like, when I hear stuff like that, when they say our black men are consistent, well, who are you referring to? Because the statistic of black men who are stepping up to the plate and raising the level high, they have been going grad for the past couple of years. So I don't understand why mm-hmm. people think that way. It don't make no sense. I remember that time I was working 60 to 30 hours a week. I didn't give my body no break. My wife had to force me to take a break when I was sick. And I was still dragging myself to work just to make sure I paid all the bills, make sure I everything. My wife was a stay at home mom. We've been married for 12 years. So, when I hear they act in black men are consistent, what do you mean by that, Coffee Brown? That's yeah. been kind of bothering me because I don't understand the narrative. If I've seen my black brothers in corporate America or in black collar work killing themselves to the point of injuries. Right. Yeah. I got well, two is- jobs myself. Yeah. Well, she says Canadian born Nigerian for every black man is working at capacity. There are 10 black women doing it too. Let me say, guess. what does that have to do with anything? No, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is let, kind let, of let me let me come back to that because I do not get this. Mm-hmm. I'm an IT specialist for 20 years. To mention that, I don't see that. I have to be a supervisor. We do a window migration, window seven migration, window 10 migration. I'm pulling five to eight pallets a day, weighing from 200 to almost a thousand pounds. Because some of my team don't have the strength to do that. And I am installing, fixing the issue at the same time, shipping and receiving. If you want to compare that, compare the workload first before you mention that. God protect a lot of women from doing heavy lifting. I let them do the easy work, you know, working long hours. While my team member, mostly men, doing all the heavy lifting and doing the technical work on top of that. I don't like that narrative at all, to be honest. That's very dishonest. This is this is and, and this is I'm what I was talking. I'm an African is, guy. I take that very yeah. very serious. So when yeah, I this is, it it anger me. 
This is what I was talking about a couple hours, uh, uh, 30 minutes ago or so. Mm -hmm. The fact that, again, just the dismissive, condescending, like, so what, it, like, again, if, if you, listen, if you care about something, you pay attention to. Black women say they care about black men, but you don't pay attention to what we ask of you. You don't pay attention to what we say. You don't pay attention to our feelings. So what any normal person, and this would be flipped if it was a woman too, if you're not getting the attention, if you're not getting the proper care, I can't take you at face value. If you say you care about me and what do you guys want, but then you ignore it or you do the opposite, it's either you don't care or you're not listening. Either one is bad. So again, I'm just saying black, you know, not all black mm -hmm. women, but as a group, as a whole, if you guys are asking the question, which I'm assuming you care, you want to change that you're going to, all right, put it this way. I have to use an example a lot of times so people will get it. If I, if I, if I want to become a bodybuilder, right? If I want to get mm -hmm. muscles or become fit, all right. I go up to a guy in the gym that's a bodybuilder and ask how he did it. He tells me what to do and then I do it. <laughs> yeah. Simple. You ask men, what, what are they doing? Hey, they're doing this. Boom, boom. They're doing this. Then that means, OK, let me start doing this then. But again, that's only if you're genuine and if you care. If not, mm -hmm. again, stop asking the question. Stop asking why guys are leaving. Stop asking why men are not dealing with you. And stop asking like we're so hard to attain. Again, you guys got brothers. You got homeboys. Ask the men, but only ask if you care. A lot of times women are not asking because they don't care. They want to yeah. do what they want to do. And for you to care and do something, that means you have to make a change. So again, are you being disingenuous or what? Because if you're asking us and we're telling you, I'm assuming you're going to change something about the, so you could get a different result. So whatever has been happening ain't working. Y'all are asking. Guys are telling y'all. All this has sparked over a little over a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And the world has flipped upside down. It's only a year and a half black men been speaking like this. And this has been chaotic for black women. 